screens, there's the sphere, but the screens are going to be a part of our future and, and mixed reality is very interesting because now you have you know, virtual screens um, in your environment. So um, I think where there are screens, there are opportunities to tell stories and we should be there embracing those. The next is, is that our, the boundaries are disappearing. And uh, at ILM Immersive with Disney Imagineering, you know, we've been breaking down the boundaries between the physical park, um, Black Spire Outpost on the planet, that too. And then we did a VR experience um, that took place on in the outskirts of Batu, but we were very faithful to the design of what was in the park, and so Cecil Slack's Cantina, which is up on, you know, on the rim, which you can't get to. When, if you look down from there, it looks exactly like Black Spire Outpost, and there was there was that real attention to detail. But now we allow. Um, fans to go out into the wilds of Batu, where they wouldn't be able to otherwise go and of course do things they wouldn't otherwise be able to do because with these devices you know we, we don't have to worry about safety or scale or any of the things that are very real um, limitations in, in the real world. The other area that boundaries are disappearing is really between um, uh, the users and um, our bodies and we created if any of you have done Vader Immortal, there's this moment where um, we have the Corvax cube, you have to solve a little puzzle with a controller. But we did a test to say, what if instead of using a controller, you used your Apple Watch and you brought your, um, you brought your heart rate down to a meditative state and, um, and that unlocked the Corvax cube. So you're using the force by bringing down um, your, your heart rate. Uh, and then, I'm not sure I'm remembering all of them, but the I think the next one was really community genuinely matters. And um, I have been very struck by Taylor Swift and the, um, the really passionate community that she has developed and that idea that, you know, um, they call themselves Swifties and they have these friendship bracelets and so forth. And uh, my nieces went to a concert in Seattle and it was, um, the, the concert was so crazy that it actually measured seismic activity wow. in Seattle. Um, so as one could say, community can literally rock the world. Um, and I, I just think that more and more we've got to figure out how to, um, how to build community. And, and that's definitely one thing that ABBA Voyage did. Um, it was a community experience. Uh, and then finally, you know, we should watch children. Because when you watch them, um, they expect to be able to interact with their stories and with their content. And that, that is our future generation. Um, so sort of in closing, one of the things that I often think about is um, I think about our experiences like a mosaic. And so each tile is an experience that needs to be able to stand on its own. But if it's been developed holistically, um, then, and you pull back, and you look at the larger mosaic, you see a much richer and more complex design. Because what we're really trying to do is make sure that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Um, and I, I did a talk a number, uh, about a year and a half ago or something, about like top 10 what matters in immersive entertainment. And um, I noticed that like, you know, 10 through five, were essentially things about like you know compelling characters, you know rich environments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, the ones at the top were actually about the people creating the experiences and what was important. And one of the things that um, I have definitely learned over the years, because I've essentially been an entrepreneur inside of a lar very large company, is that it takes courage. It takes a lot of courage. You have to be willing to take risks. And um, you have to be willing to take leaps of faith. And so it is not for the faint of heart. Um, and then the other is, is that it's, I think ultimately number one was passion. I think it's about the passion that people bring to these projects because it's people at the core, you know, these are the ones who um, imagine, who dream, who, who bring these experiences to life. So I hope, um, I'm sorry that the rest of the um, uh, deck didn't work, but I, I really hope that um, 
I leave you with the promise of amazing storytelling opportunities for all of us uh, in, the, in the years ahead. Um, so with that, I will conclude, and I don't know what our time's like, but we're done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>